My name is Jerry Reinhardt. My name is Britton Phillips. DJ Sazak. I'm LJ Bryant. I attend Lackawanna College. I play for Andrew College. Lackawanna College. I go to Andrew College. I play third base. I play outfield and infield. Shortstop, center field. I'm an outfielder. I'm a Juco product. I'm a Juco product. I'm a Juco product. And I'm a Juco product. Consider myself, I consider myself the luckiest, the luckiest man, man on the face, on the of, the face of the earth. Our desire to overcome is personified here. And every now and then, hammered home. He's sitting on 714. It's gone! There's a new home run champion of all time! Our story lies within these walls. Triumphs of spirit alongside losses we'll never forget. But even the past is an ever-changing place. And once a year, cherished heroes welcome new ones to these hallowed halls. As we select these boys of summer to become men for all time. Hi, I'm Doug Delette. I'm a coach with the Utica Blue Sox. I'm here today to do one of our instructional videos. Today we're going to talk about sacrifice bunt. I'm here with my friend Nate. All right, he's going to help us out and do a, a little demonstrating for us. So sacrifice bunt. First of all, what is sacrifice bunt? Sacrifice bunt is sacrificing yourself or your out to move runners in scoring position. All right, when we lay down bunts and we move runners, we put pressure on the defense. That's what we want to do. More importantly, we want to move runners, okay? So you're giving yourself up for moving the runners over, all right? Unlike a bunt for a base hit, all right? So what we want to do first, all right, my friend Nate here, two things we're going to pull off here with a sacrifice bunt. First of all, what, what, Nate, uh, what, what Nate's going to do is he's going to spin his feet, all right, as you can see, he's spinning his feet. That's in the correct position. As he does that, he's going to slide his hands down the bat, all right, and he chokes up. If you can see this, okay, he's choked up for better control of the bat. We need to have good control. This bat is sitting in his trigger finger with his thumb bracing it and pressured up again. So he has great control of this. He could let go of this and probably still hold on to it, all right? We want to start this bat out over the plate okay, and chest level. Why? Because the chest level is the top of the strike zone. If that pitch goes over the bat, we know it's a ball, Nate's going to pull back on it. Okay, so it's very important to start at chest level. Second of all, we're going to have a little tilt of this bat. As you can see here, the knob of the bat is going to be slightly below the barrel of the bat. This is going to promote more of a downward 
action on the ball so we can put that ball on the ground. We do not want to pop that ball up in the air, okay? We want to put that ball on the ground as quick as we can. All right, so you can see where Nate is. He's choked up. You can slide your hand down a little bit more, Nate. All right, he's out in front, chest high. Now, that pitch, like I said, goes over the bat, we pull back. If that pitch is below the bat, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna stab down at it, we're gonna bend our knees to go down at it, okay? We wanna bend our knees. We do not wanna stab, and you know what I mean by stab, Nate, I want you to stab at the ball and show. We don't wanna do that, all right? We're losing control of that pitch. Okay, so we want to stay in control. We're using our body. The bat's in a stable position. We're just going down after that bunt with our, with our knees. Okay, now when we, when we lay down this bunt, especially if there's a hard fastball, all we're doing with that baseball is catching that ball with the barrel of the bat. We need to deaden the ball with, with, the, with the knob below the barrel and we kind of accept that ball or catch that ball, soften it or deaden it. We're going to put the ball out in front of the plate, in, well in front of the pitcher, and well out in front of the catcher. And that's, that's how we're going to be able to move runners. We bunt this ball too hard, it's right back to the pitcher. They can get the force out, we didn't get our, do our job. Same thing if we deaden it too much, it's right out in front, that catcher still might have a play at, at second base. Mm -hmm.